Hey guys, Michael and Iris here from SimpleNursing.com. Today we're going to be going over hypotonic fluids, hypertonic fluids, as well as your isotonic fluids. So let's get into it here. All right, guys. So the way that I remember hypotonic fluids is you got to relate anything in pathophysiology back to a picture in your mind to kind of help you remember. So the way I remember hypotonic fluids, remember when fluid goes into the cell, it starts to swell, I turn hypo into a hippo. Now, I know this looks like a pig, but um, I did my best to try to draw a hippo for you. So, think about fluid going into your cell, making it big and swollen, but it's like a hippo, like a hippo. So, hypotonic fluids, hippotonic fluids. That's the way I remember it. Next, guys, is our hypertonic fluids. So what's the first thing that you think about when you hear someone's hyper? Yeah, they got a lot of energy. Usually people with a lot of energy like to run around a lot. And that makes them skinny. So hypertonic fluids make those cells skinny because you have all the fluid escaping from your cells. So that is the way I remember hypertonic fluids because that fluid is escaping from the cell. The last one, guys, is your isotonic fluids. Now, how do you remember that isotonic fluids remain intravascularly and they don't cause any shift in osmosis from cell to vascular spaces? How do you remember that? The way I remember it is isoperfect. So it's isoperfect. You know, you're perfect. You're, uh, you don't need a change. You don't need a gain and you don't need to lose. It's so perfect. So isoperfect is the way that I remember that it doesn't cause any osmosis shifts. So as long as you guys remember hypo, meaning hippo, swollen, um, swollen cells, hyper, meaning hyper, like skinny, skinny cells, and then iso, perfect, meaning no exchange of fluid, you guys should get that right in your next nursing exam. So hopefully this helps clear up some concepts. For more videos and to get your pathophysiology Bible, go to simplenursing.com. Hope to see you guys there. Thanks.